you have any regrets about going into medical school? Would you have um, still done it uh, knowing what you did now? Or um, do you have any, um, maybe like a different career that you would have tried? Or, and also, uh, is there any advice for, it seems like everyone goes into like undergrad or like half the people do, especially um, maybe if you come from like a, uh, an Asian type or immigrant type background uh, with like that whole like, oh, I'm gonna be a doctor type of mentality. Um, do you have any advice for them also? Um, and then again, uh, do you have any regrets about your career or anything else you'd like to do? Yeah, I think to start off, I don't have any regrets and I'm pretty happy with, you know, having gone through med school and yeah. just over the last few weeks, I, I feel pretty excited that I like finally get to be an intern. I know like, obviously it is like a scary time as well, as far as like transitioning from just being a student into like having full on responsibilities, but like for me, it's finally a chance to, I don't know, like own my learning and finally like apply myself uh, to some extent. And I think about Kobe a lot and like how, like, how like leading up to this point, like we've obviously like been pursuing medicine, but like I said, with rotations, like every month you're switching gears or like in the first two years, you're like trying to balance a bunch of things between like studying, but also doing research, but also doing extracurriculars. So I think like once intern year hits and onwards, you're like, exclusively dedicated to the craft of like practicing medicine so I'm really excited to like I guess even hone in more so on the practice mm -hmm. and as far as like what you said about like people um like even growing up and like not knowing exactly like what they want to do and like by default like wanting to be pre-med one one podcast I'd heard that gave a really good advice was to explore explore the field that you want to be in like as like I guess as detailed as possible. I think, I think there was a basketball example where like um, this, like this athlete's son got to like shadow this like obscure, like title within the field of basketball, but like loved it. It was like more management based versus like being on the court and stuff, but like mm -hmm. they fell in love with like that aspect of, of basketball. So I would say like, ex like, if you're interested in medicine, like explore like all the avenues as much as possible. The younger you are, like the more time you have to shadow like techs and nurses and like doctors and um, just like different specialists within the field of like medicine, just, just because it's not, you know, physician or bust. So I would just, I guess, make a really thorough decision and like shadow as much as I could to hone in on like what exactly about medicine I loved and try to do it that way. Yeah, I think that's great advice because sometimes you, like your niche could be like a PA or like an NP or something. And maybe that, or even like a respiratory therapist or like a physical therapist or whatever, maybe that like vibes with like your lifestyle, your interests and all these things more, but then you're fixated on becoming that MD or DO that like um, maybe you end up regretting some of the decisions that you have, or maybe not fitting in as best as you would have. Um, and, and a lot of doctors actually regret going into med school and becoming a doctor or whatever, just cause like, um, maybe it wasn't the fit, maybe they had other influences, other things like that, or maybe they didn't realize the realities of like how the practice was going to be. Um, so I think also getting that early exposure with like shadowing or whatever, if you can, which can sometimes be hard, is really beneficial, like you said. And then once you get in, like going hundred percent, right. Mama mentality and right. uh, making it happen.